Hello everybody and welcome to my 27th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create slightly better forms using the same method but by running them off of a query. And uh, all we need to do is first of all set up our query. So let's go to create and then query design. And I'm going to add in all three of my tables. And so I want a form that will show me what uh, every single sale, but with all the information, including the name, cost, username, age, etc. So in order to do this, I'm going to first of all set up a query with each of my sales. So I need the item name, item cost, item quantity, item number, sale date, Username, user age. And then that is going to give me all of the fields I need because I don't need the user ID to be seen or the sale ID to be seen or the item number to be seen. And if I just save this as sales uh, underscore all, I'm going to call it. Press OK. So now I've created my query. I'm going to select it instead of selecting one of my tables. I'm going to go into create and then I'm going to click on our form button. And you'll see straight away that it's created as a form using all of the fields in our query. So this is a really quick way, a good way of combining your tables together with a query. You can apply filters in your query as well and then it will give you your form that you're able to use. First thing I'm going to do is just control and shift these and drag them across just so that I can see them a bit better. Uh, I'm also going to delete my header by just, oh, I've just done that. So press control Z to undo, select my header and I'm going to press delete to, to delete it. And then I'm going to save this. OK. And you'll see that my form comes up down on the side. And I double click it to go into it. And now I've got access to all of my different uh, fields. Now what you're going to notice is now that I've got these fields, I can actually edit everything I want to. But if I change drink here, so let's say I change drink to... Uh, Choco snaps and then close this. Let's see what actual data has changed. If I go in here, you'll see it's actually changed it for all of the items, which you might not want to do if you switch it to crisps. So if I go into my sales all form, I want to actually disable some of the, the these pieces of information. So let's close off this one and this one and let's go into our design view so click on view and design view and i'm going to select my item name and then i'm going to click on the property sheet up here or i can press alt and enter and this gives me a whole huge list of properties and we'll go into these in more detail uh, but for now that's or the one that I want to use is whether or not it's enabled. So let's go into our enabled here. There we go. So it's in our data tab. You'll notice that all the properties are nicely separated by these different categories. So I want the enabled property. And at the moment it's put to yes, I'm going to change it to no. And I'm also going to do that for the item cost, the username, and the user age. And let's press save, close it out of design view, click on it. And now you notice that I can't actually do anything with those fields anymore. I can only do it with the fields down here. And that can be quite useful sometimes. And uh, that is essentially how you create a form off of a query. And uh, hopefully it makes sense. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. 
and it's, just remember if you want to be following along with this on your own screen and I've actually got all of these files saved on the website so if you follow the link in the description below to go to our website it will land you on this page and in the Microsoft Access section it should take you to just go underneath any of the videos click on this download button and it will download you a zip file with all of your access samples in it and for each tutorial there's a different sample you can just go in it and then select on that database so if you haven't checked out the website check it out already there's loads of cool stuff on it uh, and if you've got any suggestions then please drop them on the forum or in the comments on my channel so thanks for listening please subscribe and i'll catch you soon